I'd like lost my appetite and now boy is back with a vengeance. <laughs> yeah, I can't even, I haven't even been able to zip this dress up all the way, guys. How's it been being pregnant for you two, like with kids? Oh, hard. Fine, you know. I found it hard. I feel like if I'd known, I would have waited maybe one more year. Because <laughs> I was just like to chill. I want to just relax. There's no chill time. No, I, Imagine, like, I'm yeah. tired, I'm ratty, I'm hormonal. Mm. Like, I've just got no, like, patience. No, and that's yeah. what you need with a I'm like that, though. I have no patience. So yeah, how's winter true. been? Like She's been amazing, you know. Like, she'll come in and she'll be like, Mummy, do you need anything? Do you need a drink? That little she's, girl. Like, she, she, she's honestly, gorgeous. she's just such an angel. Like, yeah. she's so good and she's so excited for her sister. How has it been? Because you was really ill, weren't like sick. Have you yeah. still felt I still sick? I, comes in waves. Like what was your like, like most like symptoms? I would say oh, indigestion. I get that so bad. It's like I kept on eating. Is it there? Indigestion? I think it's because I like, where is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm always sick in my mouth. Always. Like, always. I'll burp, but I'll just be sick. <laughs> I'll just swallow it back. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> but it's awful. I feel like there's not enough room for the food and yeah. I'm really greedy. Maybe that's what it is then. I'm eating too much. Yeah. You know, the first trimester, I lost so much weight, right? I literally probably dropped about a stone and a half. I just couldn't eat. Because you weren't eating. No, I would like lost my appetite and now, boy, it's back with a vengeance. <laughs> Yeah, I can't even, I haven't even been able to zip this dress up all the way, guys, like, honestly. That's the only it's thing, it's bad. like, I want it to be so healthy, this yeah. pregnancy. Oh, I same, was like, yeah. I want it to, like, exercise. I want it to be organic, but <laughs> yeah, I'm McDonald's on that. Yeah. I just want beige food, like, yeah. anything beige. Chips, and, like, fatty yeah. stuff, like. Yeah. Oh. Have you had, like, really obvious cravings? I don't think I have. I used to get this weird craving for sponges when I was pregnant with No, I've heard I about this. I remember you saying this. Remember? That's disgusting. <laughs> Did, did you eat them? I used to get this urge to put a sponge in my mouth and like chew it. That makes my teeth feel but did you really do it? weird. Yeah, I did it once in case. Did you eat it? Did you swallow oh, it? Oh man, that's hard. No, I didn't eat it, but. Was it wet? Yeah, it was like in the shower and I just. <laughs> this is, I'm just imagining it's you in the shower weird. now, like chewing and you know, on sponges. Keep, sometimes I keep feeling it coming back. Like, have you seen when I watch Chloe Ferry's sponge? <laughs> it's just. It's just squeezing them sponges and it's bad and I'm like. Looks so yummy. <laughs> so your first pregnancy after you struggled with an illness, didn't you? Mm -hmm. With what me bladder. Was, yeah. I just got like, cr like a chronic UTI. Mm. Have you heard of that before? No, I've heard of UTI. I've had a UTI before. So I words. caught an infection during the labour, mm. and it was a um, biofilm infection, which is like an infection that becomes embedded within <gasps> the bladder wall that oh. can't that they can't get rid of. How did you get that? I had a UTI like, for 18 months. Have you had one before? Yeah. UTI is worse. Imagine. Is that when you pee and like it hurts it, yeah. and then... Yeah, oh, I had one worst. for 18 months. I was literally in the worst place. It was awful. You suffer with your thyroid, thyroid as well. Yeah. yeah, do you know what? Before I even thought about getting pregnant, I went and spoke to someone about it because I was, I'm one of the people that like, don't like to think I have a problem. Mm. Like. I've had a bad thyroid since I was about 10 years old and I've always had to take medication every day for it. But there was a point in my life where I just thought, I don't need it, which is stupid. I do need it. It yeah. literally doesn't work. Like my thyroid doesn't work properly. So I went through that and then I got told that it can really affect you getting pregnant because it's really? to do with your hormones. Do you know what? I don't need, what is a thyroid? Is it in your thyroid? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it's in your neck. Don't lie. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Like, go like that. You can yeah. actually feel your thyroid. Yeah. So that hasn't affected you this pregnancy. That's good. No, like, I, I mean, I don't know whether I felt more tired or not, but because I've grown up with it since I was, I was 10, I'm used to feeling mm -hmm. how I feel. Like, I've had really bad bouts of it, but I think where I took it very seriously before I got pregnant, it's put me in, like, a good stead for, like, yeah. being healthy in this pregnancy and just making sure that it's monitored because you you've had something monitored as well i've got low ppa like i didn't have a bloody clue what this, this no was. i don't yeah like when i went for my first scan they said um i wasn't passing enough blood through to my placenta um. so now i literally have a scan like every month like with the nhs you only have a scan like every i think the last one you have is 20 weeks yeah you barely have scans yeah. do you so they have to proper keep an eye on her so like it's so scary for me like because obviously with winter I was young never had no issues this pregnancy I've been really tired I can't lie it was nothing like that with winter but I don't know if that's like an age thing I'm more anxious yeah, this time yeah. around like yeah. I can't wait for the baby to just get to get out mm -hmm. do you know what I mean because yeah, I feel I know, like there's a problem every time I have the scan it's natural um, to worry yeah 100 yeah, it's just good that the NHS are taking these precautions and doing yeah. like monthly yeah, checks do you definitely. know what I mean so they've been really good in that sense but yeah not long. Not long. <laughs> <laughs>